Ladies and gentlemen, today we go uh, a slightly different path <laughs> in the Alexa looks back. So far, I mean, everything is kind of, you can connect it to something that I've done uh, on the channel in, in recent time. Today we go, we go to a completely different zone. This is Zoo Tycoon 2, uh, a game that came out in 2004. It's actually the oldest game we've played so far in these Alexa looks backs. Um, and the reality is that it, it's not gonna feel like it because this game was incredibly ahead of its time uh, and is still to this day like a, a really, really solid game. I've played an alarming amount uh, of Zoo Tycoon 2. I was incredibly amped for Planet Zoo. Uh, I was incredibly disappointed in Planet Zoo. Uh, I would happily go back and play Zoo Tycoon 2 today. I actually have a full series of this on my channel already from a long time ago <laughs> that you can go back and you can watch. Uh, but today we're going to we're going to play a, a campaign mode because I feel like it's the easiest way for me to make a like quick episode of this game that is not. Uh, I don't know, that is, that is not, um, like, ridiculous, right? Uh, it's, it's really, really easy. We're gonna, we're gonna do this. Let's do this. Combat cruelty. I, I enjoy combating cruelty in my, my real life, to be fair. Um, but it, it's hard to, to do a sandbox game in a single episode. Uh, so this allows us to kind of see the game and mess around. Now, those of you that are big Zoo Tycoon 2 fans, uh, all, all 12 of you in the comment section, you're gonna note that the game looks like a, a tiny bit different. Um, I've modded the hell out of it <laughs> in in recent time, uh, so it is a little bit modded. But you're you're not really gonna notice a difference if you play for yourself. Uh, I'll also say that I was able to to buy this game on Amazon. There's a digital download on Amazon uh, that is it's like twenty dollars for the entire. There's like four expansions to it. You get all the expansions in the original game, 20 bucks, digital download. Um, it was extraordinarily easy, ran perfectly. Uh, you can mod the hell out of it. Um, I didn't want to have to fight going to my parents' house and finding the old discs <laughs> for this game and then also finding a disc drive because it's 2024. Um, my computer does not have a disc drive. So here's our, our scenario that we got going on. Unnamed zoo in North America been operating in an unregulated and uncontrolled environment. Most likely the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo, if I have any knowledge, insider knowledge of zoos in my area. Uh, series of animal abuse complaints brought against the facility. Animals found in poor health, mistreated, need care. Um, my facility has only catered to small animals, but I have some land, so I'm going to take care of them. We have a herd of zebras and a pride of lions, which is not, I was about to say herd of lions, it is called a pride. Hence the whole pride rock in Lion King, you're learning so much today. Um, create exhibits large enough to accommodate these two animal groups, treat their illnesses, provide basic care. Um, I got $7,500 and a will to live. So, here's our goals, create a habitat suitable for some zebras. Six <laughs> and eight? Eight lions? <laughs> Brother, what the frick? They're gonna eat each other. That is too many. Alright, sure, we'll do it. Um, good enough. So, so this is Zoo Tycoon 2. For 2004, man, like, extraordinarily impressive graphics in this game. Being able to go around. You can even go into, like, a guest mode that allows you to walk around. Now, don't get it twisted. Um... These people are, <laughs> this guy, this guy, kind of looking like a young, young, who's the guy from, uh, is Josh Hutcherson. Looks like a young Josh Hutcherson, and that kind of looks like Anne Hathaway. They're likely not either of these two people, um, nor were they probably based off of those two people. But it's cool, you can go around, you can see all the stuff, uh, I can see, is that a freaking lemur, brother? I think that's a, that's a lemur, look at him. God, he's so cute, to be honest with you. We, we love him. What else do we got? Yo, what's everybody doing over here? <laughs> everybody just, uh, you just kind of congregating right here? What are you guys doing? Waiting in line at ATM? Waiting in line at ATM? Bro, what the frick? These people, these people need some money. <laughs> they're, they're, uh, they're having a rough time over there. But half our zoo is over in this little area. Uh, what do we have over here? Uh... An empty exhibit, perhaps? No? Okay, we got a guy right here. Let's let's go. It's it's an American beaver, dude. Um, little known fact: my favorite animal uh, of all time, an American beaver. 
what a crazy, what a crazy coincidence. I did not load into this beforehand. Um, I am, I should probably pause the game as well. I did not load into this. I did not know that that would be there. And then finally we have, that is a, a red panda. Hello, Mr. Red Panda. Good to see you. Extraordinarily cute. Kind of looks like a raccoon. Um, more like a raccoon than a panda. We love that nonetheless for us. Um, okay, so the goal is that we have to build some exhibits. Here, here's all my damn zebras and my lions. Um, I gotta build some exhibits for these animals. Um, gotta figure out a good place to, to put them. I mean, realistically, over here is a really nice spot for one of them. Um, the lion's a little bit more complicated, but I think you'd make them front and center in your zoo. So I'm going to do some terrain flattening to start out, because uh, I have a chunk of fears about this, this quite large mountain that's here. Fortunately, um, in real life, flattening a mountain, uh, not only difficult, but probably costs like a, a crap load of money. Zoo Tycoon 2, no cost, <laughs> no cost, not, not, a, not a concern, um, we will just happily, happily plow down a freaking mountain, uh, and nobody will, will think the latter of us. So, this'll be our lions, um, I do think that we want to, we want to extend our path a little, Let, let's do something, we'll go with like this, this sandy, no, you know what, we'll go with, what is, what is this forest path, oh my god, I love it, I love it, okay. We'll do this nice forest path right here, just to, to we want to bring some attention. I'm a designer in this game, I'll warn you. Um, I like to make sure, look at that, I've modded a lot of paths into the game. Like I said, I'm a designer. Um, I like to, I like to make things look pretty, although now I have no clue what path, I have no clue what path this actually is. So now I'm just stuck in, I'm stuck in hell. I'm gonna end up repaving the whole damn zoo to make it look pretty. Just, nobody, nobody look too closely at this, okay? I know you're looking at it now. I told you to look away from it. Don't look too closely. We're, we're just gonna make a very nice, very happy exhibit for, for these lions, okay? And I kinda wanna get, I wanna get even funkier with it, okay? Um, we are going to extend, we're gonna do like a little, a little bumpy jut out here so that they can, we can view them at kind of a, a all angles kind of, kind of scenario. And I think it's, I think it's going to be freaking lovely. I really do. So, so take a look at this lion. Um, he's chilling. All right. He's having a good time. He's pretty unhappy with his environmental needs, but now this allows me to take a look um, at the, the fences that this lion can, can actually coexist in. Uh, and I think that, I mean, that's a freaking huge fence. <laughs> I think that, that falls under a line of pure excessiveness. Let, let's maybe go, let's go with this slightly taller one instead. Now, there's, there's a trick to, to fences in a zoo. This is not actually Zoo Tycoon 2 related now. This is just Tyler related. The trick to fences in a zoo is that you, you want to, um... You want to, to make fences that funnel your guests into certain areas, right? Like, we do not want them to view at this conjunction. Frankly, we don't really want them to view it at this conjunction either. We want to funnel them all into the middle here. Over here is fine. Maybe, maybe like this. That way it lines up with our crappy path that we created. I am going to actually, I'm, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave this though. Just so that there's another little area. This is the, this is the secret area to view them. But that way now, now you can view in a bunch of different areas. We'll maybe also throw in like one right there just to, to split up the monotony a little. And then this is, I mean, look, this is, I would not recommend this, especially when you only have $3,500 to build the rest of your zoo. Frick me, brother. This is when you, you decorate with some of these posts. Okay. I can't, I can't, I can't. That's, that's very, very tiny. I don't feel comfortable doing that. There is a really good one in here though. Where the, where the heck is it? I might not have it unlocked yet. These are bigger. Oh, Oh, look at that chunky wood, man. Look at that chunky wood. I mean, that is... 
the idea of placing that down just has me happier than can be. I, I, I cannot fathom doing it, though. Not with the amount of money we have, okay? If we become rich here soon, I'll, I'll humor it, okay? But for right now, I cannot do it. Give me a, a proper savanna biome. We'll do some grass and dirt combined in here. Oh my god, look at this. These lions are gonna absolutely love this. They are... Ne it's a little... I mean, look, it's, it's a little rough around the edges. I think you do a, a little terrain additions here we'll give them a little a little lump right there we'll, we'll also give them a little water this is this is pretty important for for lions they do like to drink so we'll give them i mean this is one of the saddest exhibits i've ever seen in my life if i'm honest i mean we, do, we only have two types of trees on this damn savanna which is pretty rough um I mean, we definitely don't want those right there. Put put those back in there. We also got some damn sedge grass over here. Get rid of that, too. How about these rocks? I mean, bro, we are not... This is not a happy, happy community that we got right now. We're about to put eight lions into this exhibit. Can, can, I, can I real quickly see how big you are? Bro, this, this is not enough space for eight lions. I got to expand this. Like, am I am I losing it? I feel like I got to expand this. Maybe I don't. Maybe it'll be fine. Let let's put no, I'm I'm going to put this tree up on the hill. We're going to give them one of these. I also think that that we want to give them a little shelter over here as well. And that way people can go view from right here they get a nice little view into the the shelter i i really like that and then we you kind of you kind of paint the picture with the tree on the it's, it's just beautiful it's just beautiful okay they need food food's very important you put the food all in the the front here we'll give them water as well you put the food in the front food dish with chicks oh my god this messed up <laughs> that is just that's just cruel, to be honest. Okay, this cat climber is too big. It's too big. Start some research on a small ball toy. Start some research on a scratching post. And then, um, I mean, I got news for you. It's time to just bring them all over here. They're all, like, actively dying. Um, which, granted, I got concerns, for sure. Dude, that one is green. That, that is a green lion. They're all probably, like, dead. <laughs> the whole point was these animals were abused. Oh my god, dude, they're so hungry. I gotta get in, I gotta clean them. I gotta do all kinds of stuff to them, okay? So start me. We need to get a zookeeper door in here. Um, do I have zookeepers? The zoo doing okay? I got one zookeeper for the entire zoo. I, I cannot have that. I'm out of money, man. We're, we're screwed? I mean, we're, we, we, we need to... We need to figure some stuff out here. We're, we're going to need to get rid of these fences. Um, we're cutting back a little. These trees, I'm sorry, they look pretty. They got to go, okay? They, they got to go. Same with these. I, I need to make a little cash before we can continue. What the hell is this thing? <laughs> the staff center? What does it even do? Place where they will return when they have no active assignments? Worth $400? Get it out of here? Can you imagine an entire building in real life being worth $400? $400 for an entire building? Jesus criminy. Okay. All of these trees mean so little to me. I'm now- I'm entering my frugal era. One like on the video equals uh, $1,000 to my zoo, so please, um, please hit it. Okay. We look a little empty. We look a little empty, but that's that's okay. We've gained four thousand dollars. I can work with that. I can work with that. So here's how we we buff this area. We get some of these nice benches, okay? That way people can sit down. They can view our our animals here. The most important is we need a donation box. This is the only way that I will ever make money in this godforsaken zoo. Um, so please donation boxes. I will also note that um, we actually have no food or beverage inside of this, this zoo right now. So, 
it like has to happen. Um, it's clinically insane to have a zoo that does not have the ability to purchase anything. These damn people are going to the ATM to get money. For what? There's nothing to spend it on, my guy. So they got no clue what they're doing. Um, I'm going to make a, a small food court right here. Just just a, a tiny little one so that people can... Uh, we, we need to start producing some revenue inside of this inside of the zoo. So give me one trash can here, one trash can here. We need to get some picnic tables. A one, a two, a three. Ugly, yes. Don't care. <laughs> don't, don't actually care right now. Do I wanna buy this globe or this gilded statue? I do. Um, I do think that a, a fountain is more valuable for me though. In fact, I, I wanna put the fountain right there. Ties in. I mean, this is a desert fountain. I think I just lost money on this exchange. We we want a we want a safari fountain for our beautiful beautiful lions that exist. Then just give me look. Everybody, there, there ain't nobody in existence that don't love a hot dog. Take a hot dog. You can grab a soda with your your hot dog, and then for dessert you'll grab yourself a nice warm pretzel. I don't don't tell me uh, you're you're not happy with some pretzels and, and soda. I would be extremely happy with pretzels and soda. And uh, also, you can research a bouncy red for the future. Otherwise, uh, we didn't got much. I mean, we, we really just don't have, don't have too much going on here. Um, this is a modded speaker post. It seems great. Uh, same with the sewer grate. Great for decoration. Um, does look like it's floating, but we don't need to talk about that. I unfortunately cannot afford any of these things, including these pipes. Don't get it twisted. These look freaking incredible. Okay, I mean, look at look at how that would look on the side of that. It's amazing. I cannot I cannot take it. Okay, um, I'm going to unpause the zoo. Our lions are in a suitable habitat apparently. Um, but they are they are dying. They're very hungry. I need to go rescue them. Guests can't find the ATM. Bro, I'm telling you. They're they're losing their mind. Okay. I am uh I'm healing. I'm <laughs> zookeeper's going freaking crazy, brother. Look at our nice little lions. I mean frankly they're all happy. So I think I I win a little bit. Are you guys you guys all doing better? Let's take a look at our animals real quick. Our zebras are still messed up, but the lions are freaking. They're pleased. God, they're so pleased. Okay. We love that for them. Um, we're gonna let this kind of go. That man just walked right through that fountain, but we don't need to. <laughs> we don't need to think too closely about that. My kangaroo uh, bouncy ride is now now ready. The first person to hop on that sucker, they're gonna have the time of their life. Let me tell you. Okay. I think all these people are leaving. No, bro, don't leave. We just put in a lion exhibit while you were in um, cryogenic stasis. All right, that's fine. Oh, dude, this poor zookeeper, man. He, he's just sprinting. He's just sprinting, having a rough time. I should probably, I should connect this to the back and then put the zookeeper entrance back there so that he doesn't have to run all the way around. But I don't know, this one is a setup over here stupidly, so. I suppose it's fine. Um, I'm going to try to to fit all six of these zebras into this zone here. I think it's possible, <clears throat> but I think I have to. I gotta break into to this over here, right? Just just like a little, little bit like this, and then they'll be viewable from from all sides. I think it's okay, right? I think it's okay. I still wish that I had this path. Um, non-existent, right? Just a complete non-existent path. There's so many funky animals, man. The European flounder, I mean, come on. I want it. How about the, the Kirk's dick dick? Don't say a word. <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. Don't, don't say it. Just, just don't, don't speak it right now. Alright, for right now, you're just going to exist in that happy little spot. Um, I'm gonna make these zebras the happiest damn habitat they've ever seen. Um, we need, what do I need? We're gonna take these these nice glass fences again. That's too tall. 
These are also too tall. We we don't we don't need the zebras are gonna be very happy. These these rock fences are good enough, in my opinion. As long as they're not going to run out of the exhibit and try to murder my guests. I got no money. Oh no. Okay. Problematic for sure. Dude, did people come into my zoo just to, to use the ATM and then and then leave? That feels uh, it just feels cruel, to be honest. I mean, my I am more than an ATM, all right, more than a content machine as well. I am a man. Okay, give me, give me all this. I know foliage, great to have. Um, we'll get better foliage in the future. I also, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna find one of my plays here soon. A little, a little alarming, but I think that this this green grass that exists. I think it friggin' sucks, okay? I think it sucks. I, I would like to um, convert our entire zoo into this very nice, very nice temperate forest. Look at how much nicer this looks. You're probably like, Tyler, there are pressing matters. There are zebras dying in your zoo, brother, and you're repainting the the exhibit, the, the zoo. It does look a little wonky, I will say, when we have the... Uh, that's a nice lake. <laughs> does look a little wonky when we have the, uh, the surrounding outline that is still, uh, still the previous, previous color. I mean, look, it looks stupid. I, <laughs> you know, I'll be the one to tell you. It looks dumb. But don't, don't think too much about it. These fences are a hundred a pop. My lordy. Not helping me at all. Let, let's... Maybe make, um, maybe do something, something like this just to wall off that little area. We'll put their home right here, uh, a nice little stable for them. Give them, give them one of these. Got $117 uh, to get these zebras happy. I'm going to need to make some damn bank, man. You, you got to, the, these hot dogs, I got to amp the prices on the hot dog, man. How much is the hot dog right now? Income, 12? How much is the hot dog? I want to know how much the hot dog is. What is a moderate price of a hot dog, brother? And would it be egregious for me to, to put this at, like, a little bit more? Probably, but that's fine. Um, Give these zebras some water. We're, we're going to give them some water over here. Dude, this is not enough space for this many zebras, but I'm... There there really is not much that I can do. Oh, we just got like a research grant. 200 bucks in the tank, let's go, okay. Um, I'm ready. The zebras, they gotta go. They, they gotta get in. The only way that we, we make money in this damn zoo is... We, we gotta get people... Viewing animals... You know, the more animals you have, the more people that are going to come into the damn zoo, okay? You get the, the animals in, zebra needs more space. That's, that's terrible news. Keeper can't reach them. That's a good point. I didn't give you a, a gate to get in. Put the gate right here, okay? That, that did not look like that the gate exists right here. At least they're inside of there now. Um, I think I need to do, like... Give, give them a nice, there's a nice brick wall right here, and then we're going to put that in there. It looks, it looks horrible, but just don't, don't question it much. Now, now give me in the, the gist of this, I'm going to heal and clean some zebras here. Grooming them, giving them a nice happy, I mean, look at how freaking cute this zebra is. 2004, ladies and gentlemen. It's extremely impressive. I mean, this is, this is some... Absolutely solid uh, graphics for 2000 friggin' 4. Do you know what I was doing in 2004? I was probably like picking boogers out of my nose. And I mean, this is implying that I should have known game dev at age. I would have been six. Probably excessive. Okay. I'm making this beaver a little happier too. We should try to get some flamingos or something in there. Well, we should just put like a red-tailed boa inside. <laughs> inside. Oh my god, dude, he's terrifying. Absolutely friggin' horrifying. 
Can I get another animal in here? <laughs> I got a $65. These are a thousand. <laughs> I'd love to put a deer in this exhibit with the red panda. In due time. Okay, in due time. I've... Let's go. I've, pr I've proven... I have can provide excellent care. I've been given a cash grant of $8,000. Create a habitat for seven chimpanzees? Bro, what? Where the hell am I putting seven chimpanzees? Okay, we we gotta... I gotta pause. We gotta rethink everything. They're going over here, to be honest. Um, there's actually plenty of space. We will be fine. Um, I need to make sure that these, these zebras... I need, to, I need to make sure that I'm making an actual zoo, right? So, you gotta go here. And then you gotta go here. Back here, a little bit of a mess, um, which is why we're going to, we're going to resolve some of these concerns, okay? I would like to, you're going to go, Tyler, he, you've lost your damn mind. Um, I'd like to make another food court, that's right. The only way you, you make money in this damn zoo uh, is by feeding people an alarming number of hot dogs. So, buckle up, sweetheart, um, the hot dog stand is back. And there is money in this hot dog stand. I can make a candy cane cart. It feels like highly excessive. Um, nobody going to a damn zoo and going, you know what I'm craving right now? I could really go for a candy cane. I mean, pure, pure, actually psychotic behavior. So give me this. Give me this. Now, people, we're going to funnel them all down this way. You know what? They they were craving that ATM before. I think that that's valuable to have. I'm also realizing there ain't a damn bathroom in the damn zoo. So so we got to make sure that we got a place for people to poop. You're going to poop right here. Okay. You're also going to have the potential to poop next to the ATM right here. And then for your last poop, you can do it over here. Right next to the ATM. ATMs and poops, they go together. And as long as we got some some poop going everybody's gonna be happy that was this by the way it's a greenhouse it was extraordinarily cute i can't put that into my zoo though i don't have the money the funds don't exist okay get rid of this picnic table to be honest with you not valuable get rid of this too now you have claimed that there are seven chimpanzees in my zoo are they are they all oh they're all right on top of each other huh okay it's not a problem. I, I really don't see this as a as a huge concern. What I would like to do is I'd like to get some some walls in for the chimpanzee. Now I have a mod that gets rid of the the generic zoo walls, which is why if you're uh you're looking at this and you're like, Tyler, why is it acting so weird around these borders? That would be why it's acting so weird around these borders. Just don't think about it too much. Um and everything will be fine. It's going to be so great if you just don't think. Now, we're going to do a little corner right there. And then you already know, I'm going back to, I'm going back to basics. It's, it's glass walls. Three high. Live in their best life. We'll, we'll do a little, we'll do the same, I guess they're four high. We'll do the same damn thing we did with the lions. Little, little extra viewing behavior from this side just to spice up their, their lives a little. Um, I also, how much would it cost to repave this entire zoo? <laughs> there's, there's no way that this is that expensive, right? Nah, dude, we can do it. Let, let's repave the entire zoo. You're gonna be like, Tyler, there are so many more pressing matters. Those chimpanzees are dying. I, I hear you loud and clear. Um, and I, I fear for those chimpanzees' lives because they are currently inside of a crate. Um, that said, they, they can infinitely live inside of that crate. There is, there is nothing stopping them from, from just being in that crate forever. A little, little tight corridor over here. <laughs> this is a little excessive, actually. Um, there's also like a weird lump of land right here. I like to, to flatten that sucker out. Flatten all this out, please. I mean, people are not going to be able to make it through there. I think I gotta, I gotta shorten the chimpanzee exhibit. Because I know that, uh, 
I know the concern is on making sure that these chimpanzees live a happy and healthy life, but another concern is capitalism. Uh, and I need people to be able to make their way into the into the food court. So, just warning you now. Um, when in doubt, capitalism probably going to prevail yet again uh, in this zoo. Anna and I watch, we, there, there's a show on, it's on Disney Plus, it's called Secrets of the Zoo. Um, really, really incredible little show, if I'm honest with you, I would highly recommend going and watching it. Um, it gives some, some good insight into what it takes to, to run a zoo, and then the animals are, are really cute, it really just makes you crave, frankly, it made me crave playing Zoo Tycoon. Um, no, it was not related that this was something that I decided to to do the Alexa looks back at the same time that we're watching this incredible show. But I, I highly recommend watching it because it, it is really fantastic. And you, you start to, there's, there's, there's a, the zookeeping is, it's a, there's a lot that goes into it, man. They, uh, they have to worry about a, a lot of different things that you, you wouldn't think you have to worry about in, in a zoo. Because it's not just the, the animal care, it's, it's the animal enrichment, it's the, the conservation of the animals, it's, it's things like that. And it's, uh, it's really quite lovely. Look at how much better this looks, man. Oh my god, it looks amazing. And then we can come in here, we'll take a little, little temperate forest right here. I got $1,500. I, I need that to make these chimpanzees feel at home. I, I really wanted to, uh, I really wanted to do something, something a little better. Now I am going to warn you, what is, what is the acai palm? I can't place this. So the King Sago, we can get a little cheaty. I'm, I'm 34 minutes in, so I'm, I'm going to get a little cheaty. Um, the, the King Sago, there's a mod in Zoo Tycoon 2 where, where the King Sago you can place for, for $10 and sell it for 10000 Um, is a little cheaty, okay? It's a little cheaty. I'm not going to do it unless we, we find ourselves in a, a truly horrific spot. And then I will absolutely do it. What is a Misty Spring? Cost $200? i am i am game, to be honest. I also think that these lions need some damn enrichment, so have a ball. And have a scratching post. I'm going to unpause the zoo, by the way, because at this point, uh, squad's looking pretty good. But give me... I mean, you got so much food, my guy. I can't afford the flies. Probably the lowest point in my life. Flies cost $125. I can't afford flies. Okay. Sure, I respect it. Did I spend like 3000 on paths? Probably, right? Once again, a little bit of a low point for sure in this zoo, but I'm going to sell some of these incredibly useless things here. And then we, we desperately need... Nobody's going to donate if I don't put a damn donation machine over here. So it, it is a, a 200 purchase, but what are you going to do? I'm also now a one-star zoo, which is very exciting. New objects available for purchase. I can, I can buy more than hot dogs. Uh, we can get people some freaking hamburgers, baby. We love that for sure. Um, can I afford the flies now? I can. Let's also give you some berries, even though berries make you poop. Bananas for a monkey seems, seems ideal. We'll also give you a little, a little water in the back. A little water over there. Um, some apple guavas. You know what? Those apple guavas are also going to make you poop like a lot. <laughs> I, I have, uh, not to get a little bit TMI. Um, I have, this thing cost 1500 it said 200 a second ago, okay. I think it cost 200 to research the damn thing. Which is so much worse. Um, now you're created, now you're not, now you're created, now you're not, okay. Um, I got super sick on guava once. That stuff runs through your system, let me tell you. These chimpanzees are not happy. I don't blame them, to be honest. If I was, um, uh, in the wild, no, nah, this is gonna turn into a bit that I don't want to do. It. <laughs> okay. Give me, give me all the chimpanzees. Heal them, clean them. I will tell you, chimpanzees kind of freak me out. Um, 
I'm gonna be real. These these don't really look like chimpanzees, but they kind of freak me out. They're they're one of those those animals, and anything that is like close to being a human but isn't a human just freaks me out. <laughs> I know that this sounds weird for sure, but I'm not a fan of chimpanzees. Gorillas also kind of freak me out, but they're far enough. I won the damn scenario. <laughs> I did not expect to win this in one episode. I mean, I'm going to keep playing because now I'm, I'm invested in my zoo. All I had to do was make these damn chimpanzees happy. I can turn this into a five-star zoo, brother. I mean, we need like one more exhibit right here. Maybe a small one right here. Like, can I, can I try to... A snake? A, a, a Temminx Tragopan? There's no way that that's the name of that animal, man. What about the Palm Cockatoo? Look at this flamboyant MF'er. He's crazy? God, I might need him. He's 10,000, though. <laughs> Can't really afford you. How about I, I replace all the animals, and we'll see what we're coming up with next. The Superb Liar Bird? A Blue Marlin would not really fit in this exhibit, I will tell you. A cute idea for sure, but, but like not going to happen at all. How about the white stork? Are you a swamp? You are a swamp. I'm going to tell you, buff this exhibit. We're bringing in some storks. I can't afford the stork. I'm a thousand dollars in debt. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I can see that being slightly problematic. 20 bucks to get into the zoo. Are, are the people in our zoo happy? I mean, there's some people that are like extraordinarily pissed. Um, I think this guy just can't find a damn bathroom. He's going to the donation box? That's fine by me, brother. You should find a bathroom now, though, because you're going to piss your pants? Okay. That's good. Some people need some amusement, but otherwise, I'm going to tell you, people in our zoo are, are feeling good. Interesting names. Um, Imtiaz Funk is a good one. Robert Bob Ito. Thank you for, for clarifying that he goes by Bob. That's good. It's really good. Um, Sigdem Mosley. This <laughs> so, sounds like the beginning of a bad joke, man. Hey, did you see uh, Sigdem? Uh, who's who's Sigdem? Uh, Sigdem Nuts. Ha, got him. Okay. That's good. That's really good. Um, Toby Patizinski. Oh my god, dude. How do you pronounce this guy's name? I'm pretty sure this was a character in Dune. Garrett Jean Utenbogadard? My lordy. Just just a, an incredible vibe. Okay, these people are very pleased with our chimpanzees, by the way. Look at how much happiness and education they're gaining from staring at these chimps. It's probably a chimpanzee, like, pulling his own poop out of his ass, and they're like, I'm so educated right now. Okay, it's good. It's really good. Um, you're leaving the zoo. You know what? We don't like you anyway. I hope you peed. You did pee. That's, that's good. Have a good time on the way out. I got $200. I need to buy this, this male stork. This is actually a female stork. Do you guys got enough food? You want some fish? Um, bro, I need money. I need money. Fish? Here you go. You don't really share any food with the beaver at all. Like, like, literally none, which is... It's a little problematic. But we're, we're making cash. I need, I need some damn trees in this swamp, man. My lordy, it's, it's friggin' miserable if you guys can't have some nice trees. I got zero dollars. Is that you making that weird sound? You little freak? Okay. That's so much nicer. What a what a nice exhibit. All right, these lemurs, super sad exhibit, but just just live your life, okay? As long as you're happy, I'm happy, and you're you're plenty happy. I did level up my zoo again, believe it or not. I I know you find this hard to believe that that this zoo is actually in great shape, but it it really is in fantastic shape. I would like to do some some stupid things here, which is I'm going to. Get some foliage into our zoo, okay? I think that it's it's valuable for us to try to make this this place look 
just an ounce prettier. I know I deleted all of these trees. I mean, like, probably 20 minutes ago, but they're, my money is all gone, brother. All it took was a couple trees, and uh, everything, everything's gone. All right. Not too bad. Guests love my zoo. Listen to that, brother. You, who are you? Tommy Pearson? Who's somebody that's pissed off? Sandra Campbell? You're viewing animals? There's a chance you donate. Aiden Gottfried? Leaving my zoo? Guess what? Take a damn bath, brother. You like that? You like being soaking wet, you little freak? Probably not. He's not really phased, to be honest. I could put him in the lion exhibit and see what happens, but that, that seems excessive too. Um, hey, that's gonna do it for, for this episode of Zoo Tycoon 2. If you enjoyed, as always, like on the video, much appreciated. I would love to actually, like, play more of this, but I, I have a sneaking suspicion that uh, there ain't a damn person in sight that's even gonna watch this. Um, hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully y'all y'all prove me wrong and this video gets like 40,000 views and then I, I become a Zoo Tycoon 2 streamer and we actually make like a good zoo instead of whatever this is. <laughs> but uh, for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Alexa Looks Back. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.